you hear all that American power out there? Is that on? Yes. <laughs> it's too close to my face. What have to say to all your famous, or all your followers out there? Huh? You don't have anything to say. What is going on everyone? I need to get, I need to get my hat. It's not that cold out. As you guys can see, my sister is back in the videos. We are both back in Pennsylvania for the holidays. Right. Can you relax for you a second? Seats don't work. I know. All right, so we are back in the Duramax with my sister here. Taylor, say what's up. Hi. Shameless plug to your Instagram. I don't know what it is. Sure. Just back up around and face that way. So right now, this portion of the video that we're gonna start it off, as you guys can see by the title, is I'm going to teach my sister how to do a burnout. Uh, I just got these tires put on the truck. I just got a massive ratchet strap, went into one. What are you doing? I figured to start off this vlog, we're going to teach my sister how to do a burnout. There's no, uh, no better way to start off Thanksgiving than that. So have you ever done a burnout? No. Have you ever been in a vehicle that has done a burnout? No. Do you know what a burnout is? When you make the tire spin? Yes, and we don't move. <laughs> do a burnout. So you're going to place one foot on the brake, one on the gas. You're going to have the brake depressed quite a bit. You're going to give it gas, and you're going to feel it's going to start chugging, it's going to start making some power, and then the tires will spin. At that point, you could like gently let up on the brakes to get more wheel speed with the throttle. But I'm still pressing on the gas. The goal is not to go forward. Yeah, so. but if I let off the brakes too quickly, then I go flying. You don't go flying, this thing will not go anywhere fast, but most likely it'll like spin them and then hook up and then go. Uh, we just ran out of warranty by 200 miles, so don't blow up my truck. Don't put that pressure on me. <laughs> All right, so you guys didn't see the video, well, old, old video, I think it was last year around this time, or last year around Christmas. When I tried to drive. When Taylor drove my truck, I'll put a card right here. That's what I'm gonna start doing now. I'm gonna start doing YouTube hardcore. We're putting cards here. Also, I'm gonna be uploading playlists, which you guys are definitely gonna wanna watch because they are going to have a lot more progression. I haven't been very transparent with you guys on telling a lot about my car, and the storyline's kind of been jumpy, so we're gonna try to figure that out, get it straightened out, get you guys in the loop and know what is going on. I look like a ghost right now, I don't know why. Am I that pale in real life? Maybe just because I'm tan. God, I am that pale, Jesus. Let me, let's switch, let's switch seats here. So we're here on a private closed road. I am now in the driver's seat. I will dip you guys down and show you guys the pedals and what goes on. This is how to do a burnout in any automatic vehicle. Pretty simple, brake pressure, give it gas. There's gonna be less brakes in the back than it will the front, so you'll be able to hold it. When you feel the tire start spinning, you can either give it more gas and let off the brakes. If you wanna start rolling, or you can hold it there. It's really not that hard. To a beginner who's never done anything, they're probably like, holy shit, it's gonna break. Some cars don't have enough power to do a burnout. Or you'll just get up there and it'll get up on the converter and it won't do anything. So just keep that in mind if nothing happens. This makes enough torque where it should spin the tires, it's cold out, it's a little moist over here. That's what she said. All right, so the first step in doing a burnout is turning off traction control. So I have the little button right here, which clearly I haven't done enough because I don't know where the button is. Don't just press it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold. Still holding. Oh, there it is. It says stability track off. That means that we are ready to do a nice large burnout. Now, what you will notice, we are on a little side, side hill here, so if it sticks a tire in the gravel, then just stop, just let off the gas, all right? So what we're gonna do, we got both things lit up, so we have the stability track off, traction control off, seat belt off. Down here at the pedals, what we're going to do is get my foot on the brake, foot on the gas, I'm just gonna give it more gas. That was just a little preview here, but you can see it starts coming into power. That's what's gonna spin the tires, and at that point then we can, you know, let up on the brake. No line lock here in the Silverado. We're just gonna get it done. So do you wanna hold the camera? So we're gonna do a burnout here, I'll walk you through it. Foot on the brake, giving it gas. Oh, second gear. I don't think I like this. That was a nice burnout. The whole goal is not to be up on the converter and the transmission putting heat in it the whole time. That stuff does take its toll, but something smaller like that's not gonna, going to kill it. So we're gonna switch, we're gonna put Taylor in there. She's gonna do a small burnout. I'm gonna stand outside the vehicle to capture it. No. It's really not hard. This is like the most basic thing right, you could fine. do. <laughs> I'm gonna put the window down so you tell me what to do. Yeah, it's fine. I'll say brake and gas and then the tires will spin. All right, so let's teach Taylor how to do a burnout. So you're gonna wanna push the pedal down like a lot. The, the throttle, the gas, okay. the skinny one. You're gonna wanna lay into it, all right? Wait. 
So, foot on the brake, all right. Put it in drive. Okay. All right, now hammer down. Just, okay. just mat it. Let's break, let's break, let's break. All right, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> not nearly that much brake. Okay, well I'm how pressing hard, it down as hard how, as it goes. No, not the brake, I said the gas. I know, I'm just nervous. Don't press it, no, you're gonna okay. blow my transmission up okay. if you do it that bad, Jesus. Okay. Light on the brake. Okay. If it starts to push forward, then give it more brake. All right? Holy shit! Too, I've never driven with two feet before. It's confusing. Hit it! Stop, 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 stop. You're done. Alright, I'll give you one more shot. You can't be on the brake that hard. Right. Rookie hour. Okay, Rookie shut hour. Up. Listen to instructions. It's gonna be the YouTube video fail if I don't get it. If you blow my trans up, it's gonna cost me so much money. Break. So the car doesn't move, so it doesn't move. If it starts to move, give it more brake. But you gotta hammer the gas. Please work. Please work. <laughs> Done. Oh, oh. 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 All right, you did it, you're done. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you tripped him. That's bad. No, you just, you just got it pissed now. Thanksgiving's off to a slow start here. What were your thoughts? Sorry, it's scary, and I don't like it. I would rather drive the cow than do burnouts. All right, so on that note, we're gonna park this thing, so the transmission's probably pissed. <sighs> Have you ever struggled like that, trying to teach someone to do a burnout? No, no, never. They, it always worked, but <laughs> when it started making a ton of power and the wheels still weren't turning, I was like, it's gotta be all brake. Which I'm assuming I it barely was. had it t was touching the brake on the last one. I swear it was like this much. I know, and it started to move. I know. So then what? So, I needed to step on the brakes more. Yeah, uh -huh. and I don't think you were giving it full throttle either. I wasn't. Well, what are you doing? I was scared. <laughs> All right, here's a note to everyone: if you're gonna do a burnout, you have to go wide open throttle. Correct. What is going on everyone? I know I said I'd be daily vlogging when I was up here in Pennsylvania, but the internet made that idea come to a halt. Uh, for some reason it takes me about mm, 18 hours to upload a 20 minute video, which is definitely not ideal. So you guys saw earlier in this video where I tried to teach Taylor to do a burnout. That was yesterday or the day before. Right now it is Saturday and I'm getting in the truck here with Master Pat. And uh, we we're going to head up to the Chevy dealership, one where I got all of my vehicles from. And you got a couple of vehicles from there also, right? Yep. Valley Chevrolet in uh, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And Master Pat's going to look at a Corvette today. That I am. Manual, though. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know why. You, like most people, when they get older, they go to the automatic. You're you're the opposite. I'm, I'm a smooth shifter, buddy. <laughs> That's it. So, Pat's gonna look at a Z06. Just take a take a look around, get some feelers out there. You were looking at Alfa Romeo, which was kind of cool, but he said he didn't fit in the seats. The butt's too wide. Well, they were like race seats. They had a carbon fiber back and everything. Because um, you have had, you've been rocking the 08 Escalade for since 08. That's right. And and you're looking for something else now. A little cooler ride. Yeah, yeah. The Escalade did him well, though. I mean, that thing takes a beating. I backed into it a few times when I first got my license. Uh, so <laughs> it uh, it still has the uh, the war scars from that. So we're gonna head up to the Chevy dealership now, and uh, we're gonna take a look around. Big thank you to uh, Valley Chevrolet and the Wallace family for letting me go up there and film and and do whatever I gotta do. The this home is of the car I'm looking at. What's that? This one here. Oh, <laughs> this is it. This is this is your kind of color, also. Let's just take a note at Pat's shoes. He's really uh, throwing it back here. You ready to anniversary gift? You know, do a kickflip or something, right? Absolutely. All right. So what? So what are we looking for here? We're looking for a Corvette Z06. Do you need that extra power? No, I don't. That's a lie. Yes, That's, you do. I don't think so. I think I'll just go for the standard. Uh, no, you don't want a Stingray. You want a Z06 okay. with with T-tops and manual. Yeah, I don't want a convertible. No, no, definitely not. With my hair. All right. Well, certainly, <laughs> certainly something you don't want. Well, let's go see what they have inside first. That's it right here. You just need black rims. You just need black rims on it though. Ooh, automatic. 
Huh? Automatic. <coughs> but you have to fall yeah, in. No, you just have to get in like you're young, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't be getting in like that. <laughs> you got to do a better job than that. <laughs> Your holders out of the way so when you shift if it's manual they're not in the way there so which where does the ZO stick? so pretty much these are grand sports so if they have the LT1 motor so it's a 6.2 no supercharger make like 400 horsepower I think they say 450 but they, they come in pretty high uh, and then all the other ones are the LT4s that are supercharged so what were they put on horsepower? They say 650, but they make, you know, mid fives to the tire. Oh. But, you know, with a tune, you could pick up like 30 or 40 horse to the tire. So this is a ZO, what is it? ZO6. ZO6. Yeah, so all the other Grand Sports, they have like all the body. So if you notice, like a normal Stingray won't look like that down the side, how it has, you know, the fenders flared on it, front and rear. That one your... has the fenders flared, yeah, right? that's a Grand Sport. Oh, okay. That has pretty much all the aero, upgraded brake, suspension of a Z06, but the not naturally aspirated 6.2. So I was telling him on the way up here that the tires that come stock on the Corvettes are a little, a little firm. So if you start making any added power to it, they uh, they go flying pretty quick, and you can't run a drag radial in the back and a run flat in the front because it it kind of upsets the car. So that's that's my only uh, grief with with the vehicle. You know, the eight-speed autos are pretty sweet. But I think that the seven-speed manual, I kind of like that, you know, put a big slick on the back and let it ride. But I mean, the Z06, you can make so much power so easy. Pretty much, you can just do pulleys, intake, and exhaust, and make, pick up another 100 horsepower to the tire, maybe even a little bit more. Make about 770 at the flywheel with lower pulley intake, headers in tune. How ridiculous is that? All right, so, so Pat has done his looking, and what, what's the consensus here? You need a seven-speed manual. I need a seven-speed manual with the. There's a black on black here that I like, but you said it's too much black. Too much black for me, really. You need like it a contrast white. Contrast with my gray hair. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, you know, I think uh, I think we're waiting till next year and, and see what uh, what comes of uh, you know how, how long my uh, Escalade lasts. When it, when, it, when it goes, I'm getting it and I'm fixing it back yeah, up. So you guys, you guys will see that. All right, guys, just finishing up this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow, I'm headed back down to North Carolina. Good God, I look like a ghost because of that light. Head back down to North Carolina. Might stop and see Derek from Derek Barron Productions tomorrow on the way down. I'm not really excited about that drive Thanksgiving traffic, but we're just going to send it anyways. Get back no down to North Carolina. Mess around with the truck. Mess around with the cow. Get back into it. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I will leave my shirt on sale until Wednesday so right now they're 25% off if you want to get any Calmero merchandise it'll be down in the link below other than that thank you so much for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe I really do appreciate when you guys like and comment because I like the feedback I like to hear what you guys think other than that we'll see you next time